everybody, NWA Prepper here. So today I want to talk about something that I've learned through some leadership training and and it's a kind of an after action or a debriefing or you know I what to call it kind of I'm at a loss for right now. <clears throat> but what the backstory before I even get started I guess is I just left uh, a prepper meet and greet about an hour and a half-ish from my house and uh, so I went up there and it was a great time I got to see some people that I that I really like that I haven't seen in a while uh, and then some people that I see all the time and in the lineup or the itinerary or agenda, whatever, it was a time for, uh, at the end, he called it his AAO, after action, or AAR, after action report, or review, where he went around the room and he, he got uh, asked for feedback, and I'm going to do a whole other video on feedback. But he asked for some feedback from people on what people liked, what they didn't like, and ways he can improve. And in doing so, that gives you the ability, if you're willing to take that feedback and really utilize it to make you better, then that helps you be a better presenter, it helps you be a better Supervisor, it helps you be a better team. It helps, it helps you anywhere that you want self improvement. Now, the way that I learned it, or have, the way that I remember it, I guess has been, I learned it a long time ago, and then I learned an updated version of it, and it's called start, stop, and continue, and it's an assessment or an evaluation on you know, how you're doing. And so in the instance that we're talking about, you just go right on ahead past me there, superhero. <laughs> the way that I, uh, <clears throat> the way that I think about it is when you're getting feedback, particularly in a group, you sit around and you can do this individually, but groups works better in my mind is you sit down and you think about whatever task or whatever meeting or whatever class or whatever whatever you've done, whether it, a trip, an outing, a project, and you sit and you think about start, stop, continue. You think about, uh, you know, what do you need to start doing? What, For instance, if you're if you're talking about a meeting well and you didn't have coffee, well then you need to start making coffee earlier. If you didn't, you know, for instance, you may not have, have had enough coffee for the first round. <clears throat> so you want to start being better prepared for that. And then everyone, you know, talks about what they feel that that project or that outing, um, we're going to call it for a meeting since that's kind of what I'm talking about what went well in that meeting and what in that meeting do you want to start doing? What are you taking from that? What's the takeaway? Um, for instance, today, one of the sessions was on standard operating procedures for mag groups or mutual assistance groups. So the takeaway for me is I want to start working on SOGs or I like standard operating guidelines better than SOPs just because guidelines have a little more flexibility. But, uh, you know, the, and most people probably thought that was what they needed to start doing. They need to start improving or start at all doing their SOPs. And then stop in that same roundabout where everyone gets to give their after the class input. You want to say things that we need to stop doing. Now, this, this meeting went great, so I couldn't really think of anything 
but an example would be we need to stop having the projector shine at a wall that, that is close to a window because of the bright light you know, is, is one example of something you need to stop we need to stop you know, whatever. we need to stop handing out handouts before the subject because people focus on the handouts instead of the presentation whatever you think went wrong or needed improvement you put in your stop so we've done start things that you've your takeaways things that you want to start doing because of what you've just done and then things you want to stop doing really simple and then the next thing or the last part of the assessment is continue what went well what went the way you wanted it to go and what do you need to continue doing and you write all these things down or you have a scribe that writes things down and everyone gets a, a chance to, to voice what they think you need to stop, start, or continue. Or start, stop, continue. I, for, I believe that's how it's worded. And I did not create that. I got it out of a, a, a leadership seminar course that I work with called Wood Badge. But it's definitely worth sharing. Start, stop, and continue. Anytime that you do a project <clears throat> or a group outing or something uh, th that you planned, it's a good idea at the end of it or the day after. Sometime soon, you want to do your start, stop, continue. And again, that's what, did you, what are your takeaways? What are you going to start doing because of this camp trip? <coughs> maybe it's <coughs> excuse me maybe it's you're going to start a chow box <coughs> with dishes and spices and all your cooking utensils <coughs> in a in a box you know what are you going to stop doing we're going to stop using paper plates generates too much trash and then what are you going to continue? We're going to continue to have this type of an outing because we really spent good quality time together and we got to practice some bushcrafting skills. That's just an example of an after action report or review, more of a review. And then you'll take the findings from your start, stop, continue, and you'll compile it. And that'll be your after action report where you write down everything and then you list it and you come back to everyone and go, okay, the, this is the majority that said we needed to start doing this. We need to stop doing this and continue doing this. Every meeting, every activity that you do, whether you have a, a an actual sit down time where everyone gets together and does this. Some people call it roses and thorns where everyone in the room gets to talk about what they liked about an event, what they didn't like about an event, or a thousand other things. Whatever you call it, it's very important. That's how you make events better. That's how you make classes better. That's how you make uh, yourself better, is by doing this self-assessment or this assessment tool called Start, Stop, Continue. Once again, it's things that you need to start because of the activity or class, things you need to stop doing, and then things you need to continue. That matters in your prepping life because assessment is, is a mindset that you always need to be assessing. You always need to be improving your position. And a lot of people think of that as, as digging the ditch deeper or putting more sandbags on. Well, your position is also your mindset. It's also your training schedule. It's also in your activities that you do at events. <clears throat> all that directly pertains to being prepared and you got to have feedback and so use that assessment tool to help you grow start stop and continue thanks for watching let's get ready